After a successful connection of databases, we are able now to create XML files of a catalog used in Imosnet or XML files of articles used by design manager in Imosnet. In this video, I will show you how to quickly create a XML file of one article used in design manager in Imosnet. So if we click on catalog and now if we click by right button on catalog and choose new catalog we can create new catalog uh, in catalog uh, i will be divide articles into folders so if i click right button on the new catalog choose new folder uh, we can create new folder of catalog for example kitchen and wall unit wall units in this folder we can create new item insert new item so uh, the name of item name of article is wall unit single door cabinet uh, for xml file of this article i will be used uh, template which I prepared earlier and there are some uh, variables of this article now we can uh, double click on this article and to uh, set up XML file now you can see uh, article 3 all structure of, of XML files so it consists of four parts article definition construction and logic definition in part article we have to insert a article of uh, we uh, article we want from uh, imosca database so now you you can see a tree or list of uh, all articles uh, of Imosket database which is connected uh, so in part definition you see uh, some default uh, variables uh, I have prepared uh, earlier so we can uh, now change dimensions uh, front side setting uh, like uh, door orientation on or material of doors and also we can uh, choose a handle type uh, in part construction there are all variables uh, which are used in part definition and the last one is logic definition part where there is a logic of article so uh, there is a missing uh, setting of uh, case materials so we can now uh, create new para folder in par definition called case materials uh, we can move it up and uh, now we can insert new component into this para folder it will be combo box and and that's mean that the users uh, will be uh, can choose uh, a value of variable only from uh, some menu we set now so combo box uh, now there are all variables uh, which are in imosket database so we have to find out uh, find out uh, variable we want to use so there it is it's a family of variables and there are some default values i set in imosket so we can choose the values we want so beach maple red and white now there is a new variable and we can change its name but we have to use uh, attribute uh, attribute uh, label to rename its this uh, variable so it's a case uh, material Uh, now we can change also for example value type of uh, this variable uh, so now it's uh, 
set like a text but more comfortable is uh, value type image and now every item uh, every value of variable has own image if we double click on this item we can change so it's wood and each the second one is maple and then red and the last one is white so uh, now we have to check if this variable new variable is in in part construction uh, you can see that in this tree there it isn't but uh, in the list of all variables there it is so we can click on refresh button and new a variable is now there we can move it up so now is everything uh, prepared to generation of XML files uh, we can click on emoscat preview that's mean that th this XML file will be generated for design manager used in emoscat after generation process, uh, we can start up uh, Emoscat. And if we click on Emos Design Manager, we can now insert our first uh, article created by Emos Catalog Creator. We can change dimensions of this article. Also, we can change uh, case materials, front size setting, and choose type of handle. If we click OK, we can insert article into Emosket. If we change visual style, we can see materials of this uh, article uh, which we can simply uh, change so now case material is maple and we can change it into white participle board and front side is wood decor nut and we can choose change it into for example green color And we can also change, for example, dimensions of article.